Hello guys, in today's tutorial I'll be discussing and showing about uh, my new project on and umpiring apps that I made using the Thunkable. I have already shared the project link in the description section so you can change, check it from there. And the most important thing I want to show you on this, uh, if you go to the blog section there is a lot of condition that I have used to make this app. You can see this is a huge actually. and uh, those uh, actually i have made it uh, very well renamed like the app single ball means the single ball count and any other thing uh, i have used a lot of variables like the final run single run total run or s all of the details are provided here and the most another thing is uh, this app is also public and so you can also try this so basically here i use all the variables that you can see here all the variables and another thing is i use the run button to calculate the run uh, if you see on the design that you can see i have uh, all the runs the ball plus one means so if you uh, get one ball then you you can click on this and it will increase one and the single run the wide run and no ball and leg by and uh, all the runs that will be individually count here and also uh, show on the total run here like if you take one single and one wide then it will show one here and one here and two here and the wickets and also the over and with, with the overs I have also select and set up a customized logic that will help you to count the ball like here I select this one uh, you can see here I select the when I click on the single ball then it will uh, plus one ball on the design and when it uh, get uh, the six ball like uh, we start from zero to uh, five that means six in the array and when it go to the six then it will set to the zero and it will get one overs like this and this is fully customized for a umpiring apps if you are playing on your ground or something like this then you can use this and here i also use another button and, and this is the reset all button and i have set a logic on this button also uh, this will not reset your sound when you press this uh, it will show a pop-up window and it will show that you need to press and hold this button so if you accidentally click on this button and then it will not reset all the numbers i mean when you want to create start a new mass and so you need to uh, press and hold this button to reset if i show you in the block section that the logic are being written here so uh, if i move this this is actually a mode that it can make some lagging i uh, reset all when i when i when i long click you, you can see i have set the long click here and the reset all so when i long click on the reset all button from the design then it will uh, set all the values to zero that means it will reset all the values here and so don't not uh, let further and check out the link from the description to edit and customize this project as your own need and if you like the video and the project please and uh, do let me know in the comment section and also to subscribe to my channel and all other things I will uh, give more updates on this and if you need more tutorials and projects like this so let me know in the comment section